Okay, so this is Nick on his stall and shit. And Nick's about to say a lot of shit that I'm going to actually agree with, which is crazy. <clears throat> I'm seriously on my stall and shit now. You okay, let's bring it back. He's seriously I'm on I'm seriously his on my stall and shit now. You know, cringe, cringe. Imagine being an America first paleo conservative and talking about how you're on your Stalin shit? What? Oh my God, okay. Well, because I realized something after Baked Alaska, I'm like, you know what? Fuck these people, like it's time. Good. And by the way, the Ralph thing was not intentional. I mean, he showed up drunk, they told him he couldn't. Okay, so I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna deduct points from Nick for not intentionally getting rid of Ralph, but okay. Come, I told him, hey, come if you're not drunk. So there was nothing intentional. But after the baked Alaska thing, I was like, you know what? It's time to start cutting the cord here. It's time to start making yes. some tough decisions. Like I'm finally at that point where I'm like, I'm done. So Nick, finally, after years of me telling him, you should probably get rid of Ralph. You should probably get rid of baked. You should probably get rid of these degenerate fucking weirdo pieces of shit that go around macing people, releasing revenge. It doesn't really make sense for your traditional Catholic movement to have these people in it. Nick finally has come to fucking reality on this, but only because he was forced to. But you know what? I have to give credit where credit is due. I told him for years that Baked and Ralph were fucking snakes that were just riding him and using him, and they were going to fuck him over. And of course, that's what happened. And now he's going to say, how, how could I have known? I've been telling you for years. I'm sick of everybody's shit. It's time to get in line or get out. Because I'm just, I'm just done playing that game. These people are parasites. They ride me. They ride my coattails. So for true, kids. Yes, it's true. And they're a net negative. And I'm the idiot that's, you know, oh, we're, we're best it. buddies. We're best buddies. The second they don't get something from me, it's knives out. You know, I yes. gotta reevaluate them. Yes. Right? I mean, isn't it something? Baked Alaska, and, and get this, Baked Alaska was flown out by Milo to Los Angeles, apparently for a meeting with Ye. Uh, so what really went on there? You know, it's always these epiphanies. I just woke up one day. But, and Nick, how could you have known that Baked Alaska, a guy who has snaked and fucked over every single person, a sleazy, clout-chasing scumbag that just wants fame and attention and money, how could you know? How could you have known that that piece of shit would snake you? You fucking moron. Like, you know what I mean? You knew he was a snake when you let him in. I don't really have a lot of sympathy for you. I I'm the evilest man in the world for telling you this shit about Baked and Ralph. Like, realized I have all this beef with Nick that I'd like to air publicly, but then there's always a payout. We always find there's a payoff later on. That was the payout. <laughs> so because Baked Alaska couldn't ride my coattails into more... He threw me out to someone who could give him something, something yeah. better. I mean, who literally. Who could have seen it? Who could have seen it? Who could have seen it? People want to say, oh, what happened with him? What happened with him? You know, that's really not anybody's business. But if you want to know the truth, he got mad that I didn't, in I didn't invite him to meet the celebrity. He got all bent out of shape because I said, but Now listen, oh. I believe him. I believe him this is true. But I will say... You know, Yoba probably also was a little upset that none of you wrote him a letter in jail or federal prison, that none of you visited him while he was in prison. You know, if he's your Christian brother, you know, you're supposed to visit your Christian brother when they're being falsely imprisoned. But I guess not. I guess not. But I do believe at 100% that Yoba was such a selfish, clout-chasing piece of shit that he did just snake them to meet Kanye. I absolutely believe that. 100%. Oh, you know, in his mind, it's like, oh, Nick wouldn't invite me to meet the celebrity. It wasn't even like that. It was not like that. We were working constantly. I wasn't in a position to be bringing people around. Kanye was fired. He wasn't in a position everybody. to bring people around because Kanye was firing everybody. But Nick totally quit on his own accord, folks. Yeah, Nick was definitely in charge there. He wasn't just Kanye's little toady that got Kanye coffee and did whatever menial task Kanye assigned to him that day. <laughs>
no, he was definitely in charge of that campaign, folks. And he, he quit of his own accord when Kanye showed crosses on that chick's ass. Yeah. <laughs> but in his mind, he felt slighted because I didn't introduce him to the celebrity. And that was the source of resentment for months. And he was talking to other people about it. Oh, fuck Nick. He'd invite me out, blah, blah, blah. He laughed at me when I suggested that Kanye would walk me into jail. Well, honestly, you know what? It sounds right that Kanye would walk Yoba into jail. But you know what? It actually kind of would have been good because it would have got it. First of all, it's 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 promoting one of your own guys who's supposed to be one of your closest confidants and friends. That's what he kept saying about Baked. And, you know, when you're not when you don't support your people, when you don't give them opportunities, they they probably will fucking snake you. So it would have been boosting up one of his guys, but it also would have got Kanye back in the news cycle. Here he is with January 6th convicted guy walking him into prison. It is a bit of a ridiculous concept, but it's better than what they were doing, which was sweet fuck all. After Alex Jones, what happened with the Kanye campaign? You gotta remember the Trump campaign kept in the news cycle by being outrageous constantly. Trump would say crazy shit. He would hold rallies. He did platforms publicity stunts what did yoba do sweet f or not yoba uh yeah yay sweet fuck all so he may he would have been better off probably walking yoba into prison honestly and then i'm sure milo came along and said hey i'll fly you out to la how about nick huh and milo of course and you know i hope it was worth it but you know and it's it like time it's, it. and this is like just me just personally venting now for so long i've been yeah, the draw. I've been the content. I've been the it's money. True. And people it's come true. around and I keep them near me because I'm like, oh, well, they're loyal to me. But then you find that the second yeah. that I can't do something. Sorry, all right. So we're in the middle of Nick so, talking yeah, about, I'm how, sorry about the how Yoba snaked him. And I how told you yesterday, this was a bad idea. Sorry. But it is true. What Nick is saying here is true. He brings in the viewers. He brings in the money. He maintains this audience. Mm -hmm. And he has a bunch of parasites who leech off of him who would honestly be nothing without him. And the moment that they can't get more from him, they fucking snake him. But I warned him, and we all warned him about these fucking snakes, and you knew Baked was a snake when you let him in. You knew Ralph was a snake when he let him in. And then you pro try and pretend, oh, I'm surprised they bit me. Yeah, okay, hit play. Something for them that they want, then they decide, oh, I actually hated you the whole time, and all this resentment comes out. Well, and that's what's about it too like oh i always hated him really so you took his money his viewers his support but yeah you always hated him baked? but we're but yeah baked in ralph no, i'm gonna say this right now so there was a time when we did or was it, it was you and godwin's and i think did the the t-pos one yeah okay remember that and then you were bashing him and then he did a whole stream about like why he loves baked why he's like his best friend he'll do anything yeah. for baked da, da, da. but now it's like you always hated him that's bullshit well, they bo apparently they both always hated each other oh, right yeah, but it's I'm all sure. just bullshit anyway i'm sure oh so, you know at this point i'm like it's time to cut the cord on some of these people more will be purged more will Based. be purged more will be Based. evaluated good more because we're good. not messing Purge around them all nick purge them all i mean Burn like this latest whole fucking organization why even have a website just purge them all. No, this is my whole thing. Nick, if you're listening, which I know you are, Nick, he does, yeah. fire everyone but yourself. Fire them all. Burn it all down. They all suck. They, they're all leeches. They're parasites. <laughs> Nick, you're cozy. You're AF. There is nobody else. Fire them all. That's what Big Tech was telling you. Yeah. But you wouldn't listen. Just fucking fire them all, buddy. Just Who gives a fuck about Beardson washing your balls? But this is what it is. He needs these fucking ball washers to feel special and important. Validation. Yeah, that's all. It it's is. not enough to have the fucking groiper sucking. He needs these useless parasite ball washers. Well, think about this. Why the fuck would he bring back RPG, Ashton? Why? He's RPG not going has to. Zero audience, zero talent. But even like the the humoring of it, right? But why? Because RPG is against us. Because it's like, he needs validation. Yeah, oh, Nick's the best. No, Nick's right. Nick, Nick's this. You, Nick, you Nick, hear Nick. his, he is admitting that we were right the whole time. Yes. 
So why don't you just listen to me for once and actually fire all the useless... The problem is, Nick, it's too late now because if you had just listened, maybe it wouldn't be so fucked. But instead, you decided to join the cabal and sweep it for Ali Akbar and fucking sweep it for Milo and all this shit. And now it's too late. Now you're fucked. Now you're permanently tainted with shit and you're a weird... And it's it's and plain for all inside you to see, so it's fucked and now. You still you hang can't out with fix Ali. It. You still hang out with Ali. I can't fix it anymore. Can PPP fix it? No, no it's fucked. <laughs> PPP I mean, I the fixer. Can he you fix it? No, no AF's can't. fucked. <laughs> no, it's done. You fucking ruined it. But you know, at least now I'm gonna give him credit. At least he doesn't have Baked and Ralph around anymore. Good for him for this guy for years <clears throat> and I could have profited so much by throwing him under the bus at any point and I'm not saying this like upset or whatever I'm just saying this is just wrong this is just not right I had done right by I him agree. for years and people attacked me because of my association yes. and I could have easily thrown yes yes and you should have thrown him under the bus fuck but it wasn't even like Baked was just on the website. You had him on the, was it Stop the Steal or Stop the Vaccine or whatever? No, on the had, podium, and it was yeah. Baked, Baked. Everybody baked, was baked, chanting baked. for Baked Alaska at AFPAC or whatever? No, it was like when he was at Washington on the uh, the outdoor, outside on the, on the stage. He knew there. we were right this whole time about this shit, but out of spite, in order to prove that he was right, he couldn't just bite the bullet and get rid of these idiots. No. And they ended up costing him everything. But honestly, they weren't even the biggest problem. The biggest problem is Nick's on thinking the age of consent is the winning wedge issue of our time. It's retarded. Which leads me to believe he's controlled opposition or fed run or something. Because the age of consent ain't it, chief. No. Just shut the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up, man. Damn it. I'm out of the bus. I was one of By the, the way, he slips in that age of consent consent thing in the middle of random debates it would be like oh the gop da, da, da. oh by the way kids should be allowed to be married what why are you slipping in in every sentence by the way the only guys that supported him and he's going to turn around and betray because i said hey don't don't show up drunk in my rally it's so true it's, though you know. like the, the bar is so low for ralph it's like yeah you can release a tape that's fine yeah, you can be fucked up on pills and drunk every day on stream. That's fine. Yeah, you can have a public messy divorce with your wife. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can threaten your father-in-law on my platform and dox people and all sorts of crazy shit on my platform. Yeah. But hey, um, can you just like be sober for my event or just not show up? No, I fucking can't. <laughs> You're a fucking traitor and you <laughs> me. What? Like... It's the most reason. It's like the bare minimum. It's literally. It's literally the bare minimum. <laughs> what are we fucking talking about? It wasn't Nick that snaked Ralph. He let him do whatever he wanted. Are you There's fucking no kidding? It's despicable. <laughs> but if he's capable of that, then it's better off he's gone. If he's capable of that. RPG was right. You knew you know, what he I was capable of. That's what's crazy. Wait, he wait. knew what Ralph was capable of the whole time. Yeah. As he used Ralph as his tool to fucking dox. Right? To go after his family. Yeah. To fucking sweep it up on the Ali Alexander shit. And fucking gaslight Smiley. If we were to go back and watch the Smiley thing, which I contemplated us doing. Yeah. Uh, you would fucking puke at what Ralph did to this victim of sexual abuse at the hands of a piranha face named Ollie Alexander. And he did it on the orders it of this man. But Nick who didn't turned know. Him on. Oh, but Nick didn't know yeah. what Ralph was he capable knew, of. He knows everything. He, he, like, what, he, just, he has eyes and ears, fucking <clears throat> people clipping things and all that bullshit. Come on. Come on. It's better off he's gone. RPG was right. You know, I think I'm liking this RPG. Was he oh, right yeah. about everything that he said about you for the last year and a half? Well, he actually was right about that part. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, well? Teddy was right about that part. <laughs> but then he just fucking switched up on it because he was a butthurt Billy. In about, the worst timing ever. Yeah, he's, he Literally. bought in when, like, this is basically like being an allied soldier in Berlin in 1945 and switching <laughs> sides to Hitler while he's in the bunker with the 
in his mouth. That's basically what he did. Yeah. But good for him. Yeah. I hope everybody's more happy more with the choices they made. I think a spot just opened up. And you know something? It's really interesting. The the haters who Let's actually preach. give a sh Preach, preach, brother. Nick. Shit well, about this, is, something this party's going to be wrong. The... But eventually, he's going he's gonna to start saying shit in this clip that makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. and is exactly why we have the position we have regarding Ralph, Milo, Baked Alaska, and all the other dirty fucking snakes that have done fucked up shit. And by the way, too, I want to say one thing here, too. I know people are like angry or whatever. Oh, why aren't you doing this or doing that? Listen, our show, we've had, what, three guests on, maybe? We've always been a solo show. Like, we... Like we we don't fraternize with other shows and shit. We just do our thing. We we, we don't need this now. We want to just do our fucking thing. Just hit play. The haters who actually give a shit about something have has recapitulated in a way. Do you understand? I'm talking about uh, Red Pill Gaming. I'm talking about CWC. They were on the hater train for a little while. Okay. Pause but you know it. what? So I want to just talk about this. Sure. So RPG and CWC never had any choice in the matter. They didn't leave AF because they were making a principled stand against AF. Yeah. They left AF because they were kicked out because Nick didn't like them. Yeah. And the only reason that they're allowed back now is one, they're so desperate and pathetic that they crawl back because they have nothing. That's one. And two, Nick is so desperate for fucking people to fill slots now since everybody's gone that he has to bring in these bums. That's why that's going on. It's not like they had any choice in the matter or there's any principles at play here or whatever. They're just trying to get whatever measly little audience they can get, but they never will because they're boring planks of wood with no charisma, no ability to speak. They're not funny and they suck. So that's the reality on that. But Nick is eventually going to find a good point here that I want to emphasize on. But let's let him continue sure. to call. Them realized at a certain a point, they said, wait a second, we actually have political objectives. And this hating on Nick just isn't productive. Like, it's not working. A lot of it's not even true. They say, and so it's just becoming a distraction. It seems like that's all you guys care about instead of politics. And so when I meet CWC outside of Fletcher's Rally 1, I say, look, this is stupid. Let's just drop this. And there's been shots fired on both sides. And they go, you know what? Put her there. Now, we don't agree on everything still. But at least we can agree that we care about something and we're moving in a direction, uh, aside from this endless drama. And same thing with RPG. RPG said once and then twice, you know, I think I'm done with the drama. I'm done with the he drama. He said it's it more negative. than twice. So he like said five times. And he said it again, like, this week, On the which we're going to yeah. get into, but okay. I, I want to do something about politics. And I said, yeah, hello. Like, welcome to what I've been saying for years, you know? And, and as such, I extended the olive branch and said, you know what? I, I actually see where you're coming from. If you're willing to be good faith and you can say that and you can introspect and you could admit... Some of the things that you went wrong with, I said, I'm perfectly willing to meet you halfway and say, you know what? I actually know where you were coming from initially. I get it. I can put myself in your shoes and I can understand. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's very clear that that entire, the, the hater scene against me is clearly funded. I think it's obviously funded. What Just a like cult, the stuff by against the way. funded. It's funded. It's funded by the. I mean, this no, is crazy, the shit people, he's coming up yeah, with. Yeah, it's retarded. It's Trump, just like the stuff against anybody else, there's clearly some sort of foreign support for all of that because it's not organic and it's very bizarre. And, and the things, like I said, they flip one day to the next. One day they say, oh, Nick Fuentes is with Milo and Milo has all this blackmail on him and blah, blah, blah. And then when Milo flips, they're talking to him. When Milo see, flips, they're, they're calling See, but that's not what we're doing. Do you see? Milo wanted on this show, and I said no. We said no. No. Because Milo is a Milo is a piece of shit. Milo is a who sucks, and that's the truth of it. Okay. And we are never gonna fucking amnesty Milo or forgive Milo no. or bring Milo on and treat him like a king. Everyone but who others has. will. Everyone others who will. Has, though. And there are motherfuckers right now championing Milo, and he's absolutely right. When you fucking flip-flop, one day it's Milo's an evil puppet master, the next, let's love Master Milo. No, I don't think so. Pretty sure Milo's an evil fucking piece of shit 
that has his own weird ends and machinations behind the scenes that it's very difficult to understand, but it's certainly not to the benefit of any of us. It's not to the benefit of you. It's to the benefit of Milo Yiannopoulos. Yeah. So preach it, brother Nick. Those who are flipping and supporting Milo and supporting Ralph, they don't have any fucking principles. And it's not going to destroy Nick Fuentes. It's just delusional. But anyway, let's continue. Them and whatever. Same thing with Ralph. One day it's, oh, Nick's a terrible person because he hangs out with that scumbag Ralph. Ralph flips, and then they all support Ralph. Bank the last is oh. a fed. Oh, you know, now that he attacks Nick, now we love him. Yeah. Exactly. Preach it, brother Nick. Yeah, no, Preach he, it. He makes a I point. fucking Flop. agree. He makes a point. I Flop. agree. Baked is a snitch, and he won't be forgiven by me. He's a snitch who sent motherfuckers to jail. That's who he fucking is. Milo Yiannopoulos, part of the cabal. Like, what? Ralph swept it for the cabal. But now suddenly, let's praise them. Let's worship them. Shows that you have no convictions, no principles, and allows him... The guy who fucking was involved with all of those pieces of shit to somehow claim a moral high ground, of which he has none, by the way, because he employed all of them in various gay ops on his behalf. And he still is doing shit. So, you know, that just goes to show either these people are insane and obsessed with me as a guy, or they're being paid to do this. And insofar as they stop well, we talking about any me of that. or nope. change their coverage in any way, they would stop getting nope. paid. We had I, our coverage is the exact same today as it was last week, as it was three months ago. Some mm -hmm. people say that's a criticism. Oh, it's stale. It's whatever. But you know what I have to say? Shields me from that bullshit criticism because yeah. I never fucking did that because I foresaw exactly this bullshit tactic he's using now. But anyway, that's about the last time I'm going to agree with Nick for today. They know that I'm the most powerful Jedi that has ever lived. I'm becoming more powerful than any Jedi has ever dreamed of, and I'm doing it all. I'm going up to Ethan Ralph. You turned him against me! <laughs> you know? Oh, the cringe of it oh, all. Oh, you turned God. him against me! You like imagine Ethan Ralph as Padme. You have done that yourself. Ethan Ralph collapses on Mustafar. <laughs> and he dies in childbirth. His gun to C-sectioned. This is disgusting stuff. His gun to C-sectioned. That's gross.